Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumin's Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well because we are going full steam ahead. So the topic in my video here is love is deep and you're not crazy. So even though some of the things that you might have experienced and other people don't believe it, and some of the things that even you yourself may not even be sure of where you're at. I want to remind you, you're not crazy. This love is so deep. So what are we going to talk about here? Well, several things. And to let you know that you're not alone, okay? I know that there's a sense that people have that you're part of something bigger than just yourselves, except you are the really big part of that thing that is happening. As things propel forward, you are a force of nature. This is truly who Twin Flames are. And there's a reason that only so many people have become aware of this. I recently had some reminders from what you might call the outside world, that when people don't have these experiences, it's hard for them to fathom. And it's hard because this love is deep. It goes bone deep. It is soul deep. So are you interested in elevating and healing everything? Everything from the past, even if you don't believe in past lives, but you sense that something's coming up and it, it is something that just needs to go. It needs to get out somehow, like a splinter. If there was a splinter in your skin, in yourself, wouldn't every part of your body want to push it out? Absolutely. So it's the same with anything that has ever happened to you. And you yourselves are matching yourself up again with your soul. So aren't you desirous of the true love that goes so deep? That is actually why you're here. It's no longer on the surface. And the way has been paved for people to have those spiritual relationships that they've really been seeking, that you sense there's a potential for, where some of the same old stuff just doesn't really cut it for you anymore. In fact, when you really know you're on the path, you know that you're kind of not even fed up. It's just, it's just too boring already. Okay, but love is never boring. Love is never the thing that makes you get pulled down. What gets you down is non-love. Everything that's ever happened that is non-love. So that's when it comes in where you say, and why I say, you're not crazy. Because you know the things that you've been feeling and experiencing. The love is here to help uplift and I mean, this sounds like such a cliche, like you could stitch it on a pillow, right? But to uplift and push and propel and make change where it is a win-win for many people. So I'm going to tell you a few things that lately, you know, you might want to know more. And sometimes people get so into the journey, they lose focus of how deep this love really is. So I took a step back, and has anyone seen that show Outlander? I happen to personally like it. It feels like some of the, the history of some of my people, my ancestors, and it's just fun to watch. But it is like the perils of Pauline. Everything keeps happening that you can possibly imagine. And yet, the couple themselves really show what it's like when two people trust each other, when two people love and they don't want other interference around them, when they don't really want to be apart from each other. But how intense is this? And when you talk about deep love, love that goes soul deep, how are these bodies really equipped 
to be able to hold something that's so magnificent? Well, I'll tell you how. It's because of who you are and why you need two people to hold everything, to pour it into you, and to also speed up the process of getting rid of everything that you don't want from wherever throughout any of your timelines. Now, not everyone has had the same timeline. Some people have not really been incarnated during certain timelines. And that's why there's certain differences amongst people who are twin flame people. Twin flame people have had an activation, and you'll recall some things. Maybe at a time you couldn't really put it into a context. But as you go on later on, you'll find that somehow it gets put into a context for you. So you might have a couple, and yes, they changed some of the, the clothing up a bit. You might have a couple where, you know, they see each other, they like each other, and they can feel the love. But if you were to hear their separate sentiments and thoughts, you would hear something like this, okay? You would hear him say, oh, wow, there she is. She is so beautiful. I just really, oh, I get all tongue-tied around her. What happens to me? This is so intense. I'm supposed to be a man. Why am I feeling this? Why does my heart pound? I don't really want to just have a heart attack and seem like I'm going to just fall apart on the spot. But why this intensity? What is this? Why is it that I want to just sweep her away, but there's all these things that come up. I don't know what she thinks or feels. What if she thinks I'm a fool? What if she thinks, oh, I don't know. What if she thinks that somehow we can't sustain this? What if it goes away? What if, what if, what if? And what you have is someone who is feeling and thinking at the same time. And love and fear cannot exist in the same place. So what do you do with all these fears? These are relationship patterns. These are actually his experiences based on previous relationships for the most part. And maybe things that he's read and maybe things that are deterrent. And this is why it's really triply important right now to focus on you and to use the body to help sift and sort because he wants what he's feeling. He's just not sure of all of the repercussions. But what if there doesn't have to be repercussions? What if he says to himself, oh gosh, I just really, every time I see her, it didn't feel like I'm spying on her from a distance, but I just don't know what to say. I get all tongue-tied and it gets twisted up and I start seeing our house and I start seeing going on vacation with her and it just starts coming in this jumble and I don't even know what words to say to her. I don't even know, like, she's going to think I'm crazy. Well, you're not crazy. He's not crazy, okay? But all this stuff can make someone feel crazy. You're not crazy, and you get it from the other side, too, okay? She sees him, and she's like, oh, my goodness, there he is again. I see him looking at me, but why doesn't he approach me? Why doesn't he know what to say? Can't he read me? Can't he just sort of tell that I'm inviting him? And I don't know what to say to him either. He'll think I'm crazy. If he could hear the things that... I would like to do for him and, and just be with him. And, and I don't even know how to define it beyond that. He's going to think I'm crazy because I just can't even put two words together. Now, what these two need to learn, and sometimes why there's a separation, is deep heart communication because this love is deep. So one of the reasons people do separate and why it seems like they run and chase and why there's unanswered texts and emails and things like that. Why? Because the intensity wells up just when someone thinks it's simmered down and they have a handle on it. 
But the real key is get things focused and learn how to do heart communication. Learn how to feel and exude. And you have to learn how to commune with each other. That is one of the givens that is expected simply because this love is so deep, you need to be able to communicate over great distances. Lovers are not intended to be mind readers. And your mind is not intended for other people to manipulate. So that if you have an entire crowd of people that you're surrounded by, those people will feel like interference. Interference, lower level soul group interference has caused so many bad endings to people's twin flame unions. It isn't even funny. And that is being coming to a conclusion with a lot of these closures. We also have retrograde energies that's going to shove some things back to make sure that things get out of you, to make sure that if you're depressed or you're prone to depression or rejection, that this really doesn't throw you off in the future. Because those kind of things, if he were rejected in the past, he thinks about KYS, kill yourself. Nobody wants that anymore. Nobody is letting themselves become decimated over the sake of these things that have happened in love relationships. True love is true love. And love is so deep that your soul is in charge of it. You're not crazy. So you're not, you're not going to be able to do some of those things that have been there in the past. So meeting your other half pushes the best. It pushes forward and it pushes the forward you, the best part of you in everything. So it is true that when people talk about twin flames and they say, this is going to make you a better person, you better believe it. It swings the moral compass into place. It forces people to be truly honest, not honest and like, you know, there's little white lies there honest and with solutions and this is a part of the new level it's not the old paradigm anymore what else happens well let's say that you know one or the other person or even both might have some form of an addiction it takes your addictions and shows you both how to deal with things using high love which is twin flame love and yes this helps you to be a great person a great person okay and so let's say you have another couple okay you have another another couple and they meet and it's just like oh boy he is so fine to look at and they like each other and they can feel the love they can feel the love begin to envelop them and they're doing similar jobs she is a very successful real estate agent. She does real estate and she wants to get out into developing uh, properties and she has dreams and ambitions, okay? Now she's met love. What should she do? In the past, she might be forced to choose. He may actually say, you know what, I'm the man and... You know, in the 1950s, that means that you give up all of your ambitions, okay? But this is not what Twin Flame Love does. Twin Flame Love honors people's dreams and wishes and wants them to come true. Now, he's also in a related field. He is someone who is a go-getter. So they're very much finding that they are equally matched in several areas. But they have a fear. Will they have to choose love or other things? And he sees her and he sees his whole future. He says, I see a family with her. I see a house with her, several houses, a vacation house. I see traveling with her. The whole world, the whole universe opens up for him because the love went deep and opened his heart. Now, 
He has a choice here. Is he going to say, oh, this is crazy? Some people say this is crazy and they walk away because they don't know what to do with their old relationship patterns. And for her, she says, oh, my goodness, he must have so many people he knows. And here he is talking to me and we have things in common. And he is so good looking and he is so sweet and I can feel him. I can feel him so well. And he is so well-intentioned, and he just, mm, mm, he is just almost like the man of my dreams. I've dreamed of someone. I wonder if it's him. Oh, but that's crazy. No, it's not crazy. You've been dreaming those things for real and on purpose. Twin flames have several levels of dreams. We have lucid dreams. And we have those dreams that put us in a place that let us know this is real. If you ever think you're crazy, pay attention because she's already been dreaming him. She didn't even know. She didn't even know him. But they've been kissing and kissing and kissing and it's been so highly sensual and loving and respectful. And the kind of love that gave her the sense that this is what it really is. This is what love feels like. This is the real thing. And she could only hope that he was as good as her dreams. And actually, he is. And they, that is a beautiful mirror that they are sending back and forth to each other. Because they are the same. They are the same. So while I'm talking about, you know, earth professions and earth dreams, it goes even beyond that because the next part of it is to be able to dash away all of the things that have ever caused interference or anything that clouds the heart, anything that could pull anyone down, pull anyone back, all of the disappointments. So... Lately, there have been people that seem to be in two segments of this journey. One is very much in the doldrums and in a depression and flat energy and just flattened out and not really feeling it, not even sure if this is their path anymore, maybe doesn't want anymore. And other people are feeling pretty good and coming into a sense of balance. And I say to you both, but wait. There's more. So it doesn't matter which segment you're in or where you're in your phase of your twin flame journey or where your twin is. Your twin can make leaps and bounds with what you do. But if you're not working on the parts of you that actually matter, such as your high heart channels and clearing other parts of yourself, your core, you're going to become lost in this. So that is actually what I help people with in my sessions. I also help with these types of things. What happens when you meet your other half? The things that you should focus on so that you expedite things. The way of this has been to be able to draw everything in that is useful for both of you. And... Anything that is useful for you, you keep. Anything that truly belongs to you, and that includes the person who belongs to you, you're going to keep them. No matter how you keep waving in and out, this is not unrequited love. You may wave in and out and see each other and have some touch and goes, but you, those waves will get tighter and tighter and tighter until... Yes, you're kissing each other. So as a friend of mine and I like to kind of joke around, when do we get to the kissing part? Well, some people are there, and they will be going through their metaphysical things. And if you're not there, do not become discouraged, because there is more than one way that we are doing this. And there is more than one way that your twin flame is able to reach you. And I help pave the way for that. I do several types of sessions, everything from just 
someone to talk to who gets it because that's a big thing. You can't just talk to someone. You can't even talk to some other reader or psychic if they have not had the experience. And I, I get very dismayed when people say, well, I talked to this person, but they don't believe in twin flames. Please work with me, who is a twin flame and who knows twin flame stuff. And not only that, teaches it, and I am teaching other people as well. Maybe you would like to come to one of the things that I'm having. I am having a twin flame body union workshop in October 26th and 27th. And I am having a live evening, September 13th. What about this full moon? Let me tell you about the full moon. For um, the week preceding, you are going to be feeling pushed in certain things. Now, after is when you really need to address things. Because it's the after stuff that gets some light shed on it from the full moon. And what is that going to be? Well, for some people, it's actually already happening. It's already something that you could genuinely say, you know what, I think my life is pointing this out to me or that out to me. Then address it and take care of it. Because come a few weeks from now, okay, you have to have uh, taken some baby steps in that direction. If you're not sure what that is, reach out to me. We will get some guidance and you will get some things to do because I give people homework. I give people some things to do, action steps, so that you can take yourself into the areas that are most beneficial for both of you. Because there's always two people, okay? There's always two people. And being with your true love physically, yes, that is the direction of this. So do not be deterred by the things you hear and see. And, you know, there's a lot of disgruntled and miserable things out there that people can't help but see sometimes. But if you really want to focus on this, then find out about what this all entails because I have the tools and they are good. They do get results. So I get very good feedback on them. All of my books, I have five books that will lead you through things. And I have several webinars. In fact, I have a series of 24 webinars. And I myself have also been through these things. Just because I don't get up here and cry about everything, you almost saw me lose it there, right there. <laughs> okay. One of the things I liked about this show is just like its sense of adventure and the sense of history. I like those things. Maybe other things sing to you, like music and lyrics and, you know, what you believe about yourself. And love can keep coming to you until those weird ideas about yourself that make you think you're crazy just don't exist anymore. Why? Because you're not crazy. So thanks so much for watching. Look for the links below. Reach out to me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com if you have a question. Thank you so much. Bye.